brother Josh took a razor and carved a grin underneath his mouth. I fell off a car. Fourth of July, watching fireworks over the lake in a marina parking lot, drinking gin and tonics with my married boyfriend Kevin, and without warning, I passed out. When I awoke, it was to an anxious wreath of faces peering down at my pounding head. Because I didn't know I was falling, I didn't make the classic mistake of holding out my arms to protect myself. So I didn't experience any injuries except scrapes and bruises, marks that you can see for a few weeks after. The ones that make people ask, what the hell happened to you? Which, of course, is what I wanted to ask Josh. His new grin ran from cheek to cheek, a deep cut that severed a tendon. It was nothing like the polite smiles we'd given our parents over what I now refer to as the Last Supper, fleeting smiles of employees imagining that an unpleasant task was almost done, only to find out that they had only scratched the surface of what would be demanded of them. My parents announced they were moving back to Detroit, quite possibly within the next few months. They had lived in our city for almost ten years. We were at a restaurant that didn't stay open very long, an expensive soul food place called Jada, where we'd paid a lot for ribs and okra, collard greens, and sweet potato pie. My parents insisted on trying whatever seemed adventurous. They lived in Atlanta, and their infrequent visits were punctuated with outings 